Today we're going to be unboxing and installing the Sonus Beam TV attachment from Soundbase. What we need for that is of course the Sonus Beam, the TV attachment, a screwdriver, a level, a ruler or tape measure, and I've just got this stopwatch that I'm going to set off to see how long it takes us. And here we come to the product. These are the arms. And then in the center here, it's a nice little box. A cable tie. And the bracket itself. Okay, let's have a look what we got in here. So, Huge amount of fixings. Even more fixings. So you've got all the fixings, got all the arms. And you've got the, the wall mount itself or the TV mount itself for the speaker. And finally, you've got the cable tie. Okay, the time is set for 30 minutes. Okay, so we've got this TCL TV here. It's mounted on the pull-out wall bracket. Uh, you know that you can, it's called cantilever in England. Um, that you can move to the left and the right. And basically, we're going to be adding today the Soundbase Sonus Beam TV attachment. Uh, to mount the Sonus Beam directly below here. So the first thing I recommend before we start is that you prepare a couple of uh, towels or blankets and you put these down in the area that you're planning to work. This way, if you drop anything, you're not going to damage anything. The second towel, I've got this table here I arranged that I'm going to put the TV on and work on. Uh, generally, I will you know, work on a surface uh, you know, to reduce the amount of bending required. So the first thing we need to do is remove the TV from the wall. Now, this one's a really easy one to remove, actually. Uh, just going to pull it right out so I can get that behind it. Uh, I'm going to disconnect the TV and the Apple TV. Uh, I'm just going to take the lead out because this Apple TV is fixed to the back of the television. So you see what I mean there? The uh, lead fell down, couldn't scratch the surface, so... Because the table's not quite big enough, but I need the I need a TV to sit on the frame uh, to ensure you know, that it's uh, not resting on the screen. The other way it could have been resting on the screen. So the main lead just fell down here. Got a few leads going on the back of here. Now I've got the uh, Sonus Beam attachment from Soundbase. And as I've showed you before, they give you a whole variety of screws uh, to attach this with. Just looking at this, this is the 200 by 300 VES pattern. And so on this one, we're just going to connect to the bottom. Uh, it's 200, so that's like vertical. It's just going to connect to the bottom two holes here. There's no need to connect to the top two. Uh, but the first thing we've got to do is assemble the uh, wall mount. So far, I used just over five minutes. So that didn't take long at all to do. I've not fully tightened it yet. So basically, it can move like this, uh, as you can see. Um, but for this application, actually, it's a 200, so it'll be like that. But if it's a 300, then it'll be like that. And if it's a 400, then it will be like that. This fits 200, 300, and 400. 
So the next thing we need to do is we need to remove these bottom two screws from the television mount. Let me just find the screwdriver. Okay, so we're going to take these bottom two screws out. Now, although sound base supply a whole load of accessories, on this occasion, we actually won't be needing them. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is take a quick measurement here of the speaker. And that's basically measuring uh, three and a quarter inches, uh, three and three quarter inches, sorry, or around 70 millimeters or seven centimeters. So we need to remember that. I'm gonna work in, I'm gonna work in centimeters for, because I'm from the UK. So we're going to put this bracket on here right now. So I haven't even loosened the top two screws because unless I'm, you know, these are not going to reach up to the top. So it only needs to be fit here at the bottom. So it's basically, I can just slide it straight underneath here, like so. And I'm just going to take one screw and put it in here lightly just to hold it so that it doesn't fall out. And then I need to decide how I want it to sit, so how close I want it to the television. So I can, uh, that's the maximum actually on that hole. So as you can see that it gives me about five inches, which I think is too much. So I'm actually gonna remove that screw. Uh, the reason I couldn't slide it up anymore is because I've hit this point here. So as you can see here, the hole inside for the, for the stud is not that deep and the screw is already quite long so we won't be needing any longer ones. You need to be careful not to install using too long a screws into this hole. So I'm going to slide it up so it's in the next hole like so and you want a screw and a washer here yeah so or a bolt and a washer. Now I'm lucky that I don't even need to use any of the whole load of accessories that Soundbase provided because the ones I've got here with the television bracket are actually adequate. We're only adding around, you know, five millimeters or something like that uh, to the to the thickness there. So I'm just going to put these two in loosely, and then I'm I've got that in there, and now I can adjust it up and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from between the top of the bracket and there. So as we know, we just checked in, it's around 70 millimeters. I'm going to set this around three inches to give a little bit of access to the buttons there. So I set that one dead on three inches and now I'm going to tighten this screw up. I'm going to tighten it up all the way just at the minute. And then I'm going to set the other side to the same. three inches there. Right, now I'm going to do these up. Now you just need to tighten them up, don't over tighten them. Just tighten them up like so. That, that will hold it very stable. And then I'm going to take the little spanner that Soundbase provided and I'm going to tighten up these bolts on the back, these nuts, just to hold that in place like so. Right, there's one more thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to slide this forward a little bit and I'm going to get the sonus beam and I'm just going to check that I've definitely left enough clearance there. So, yeah, and I can see that fits nicely. I can see the gap looks very even and uh, I can see that's all going to work fine. So, that's the bracket all attached to the, to the television. All tightened up, just double check everything again. I want to get it back on the wall and find out if I forgot to do something up. That one could be a little bit tighter. Okay, so we're ready to get this back on the wall. Generally, I'd have someone here to help me, uh, but today we don't have anyone around, so uh, we're just going to get this flipped up and we're going to rest it on the bracket and pick it up. And then, hopefully, I'm going to go straight on like that. There you go, we're straight on the wall. Right, now we need to secure it with a little uh, locking screw. 
So at this point, we need to be pretty careful that we don't knock it off, slide it around. I'm going to put that little locking screw in here, like so. I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to do it up super tight at the moment. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, sorry, just put it over here, is I'm going to get these. Uh, I'm going to get these two little fastening screws for the Sonus beam. Now, I already got all the cables in place uh, here for the beam. I already run them. So there's the power cable and the arc cable or the HDMI cable. And so, what I'm going to do is put the speaker around the right way. Line that up in the middle, and I just need to get follow it. Just put that in loose, not fully tighten it because I'm going to need to move this one around a little bit just to line it up. Get that one in loose and then tighten them up. As you can see, that tightens up beautifully. A little bit of space there for my fingers. Then I'm going to drop down the HDMI cable and I'm going to plug that in. Everything's all fixed on here now. Drop in the power cord. You can see here loads of space if you want to um, put the Ethernet in, it's no problem. We also have the, the cable tie, the sound base provided, so you can cable tie these cables up, although I've made this one a little bit short, so it's not possible. But if you need, you've got the little cable tie there to take, cable tie it all up nicely. Um, you can see it's a tidy job. And as you can see now, you've got the finished wall mount a swivel left and right, speaker moves with it. Uh, you can also adjust up and down on this mount as well, uh, but it's kind of fixed uh, tilt. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to get this back in place. There's one final job to do. And this is more about the TV than the wall mount. We're going to put this on here and we're going to level the TV up. Probably want to pull this a bit away from the wall to do this. And so if you remember, I said there was that little screw at the back. You just need to tighten that up. And you see, if you put it in the way I said, and you measure it the way I said, then everything's good there. It's all very level. So that's it, that's how to install the Soundbase TV attachment to your cantilever wall mount. In total that took less than 20 minutes. Now it's time to hit play and listen to some of your favorite music. Designed in the UK by Soundbase.